It's a story making news this weekend. An on and off armed rebellion in Russia, boldly challenging leader Vladimir Putin. David Martin explains. An armed mutiny by Russia's toughest fighters set off a head-spinning sequence of events with rebel troops advancing on Moscow. Have we just witnessed a watershed moment? Absolutely, absolutely. Among the key milestones in Russian history, particularly in the post-Cold War era, this will be a key one. Former ambassador to Russia John Sullivan says Vladimir Putin's iron grip on power has been tested like never before. Has he ever faced a threat like this before? This is the most significant threat that I think he has faced. Putin went on television to appeal for support. And if you saw his, the look on his face when he gave those remarks, he is a man under a great deal of stress. As he spoke, mutinous troops patrolled the streets of Rostov in southern Russia, and their commander, Yevgeny Prigozhin, conversed with Putin's generals in their headquarters apparently having taken over without a fight. Prigozhin was an ex-convict who became a caterer and made a fortune off his reputation as Putin's favorite chef. Then he turned to war, putting his mercenary force of convicts and veterans at Putin's service. Is Prigozhin a, just a, a loose cannon or is he a, a, a wily operator? Uh, what we're dealing with is, in effect, a career criminal. He spent most of the 1980s in prison in Leningrad. Uh, so he is really uh, an organized crime figure in my mind. His troops fought and died by the thousands in the bloody battle of Bakhmut, giving Putin something he could call a victory in Ukraine. But on Friday, Prigozhin pulled his 25,000 men out and sent them toward Moscow, where barriers had been erected and people warned to stay off the streets. Did he have a realistic chance of overthrowing Putin? He would need support from within the Russian security establishment. 25,000 troops marching toward Moscow on their own wouldn't have a chance. With the lead elements just 125 miles from Moscow, Prigozhin ordered a halt and told his troops to return to their camps. And he drove off from Russian military headquarters unscathed, at least for now. As for Putin, if he does come out of it, almost by definition, he has to be weaker.